Hey guys, how are you all doing today on this fine evening? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here. And in today's video, I've got actually somewhat of a pretty impressive gameplay. This is going to be 85 kills, playing a little bit of ground war domination on the map overflow, using probably the worst shotgun in Black Ops 2, the S12. Now, this is actually a pretty good gun, but again, we're not here. Uh, we're not here to talk <coughs> about anything about the gameplay. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Hey, what oh. is up, Warriors? It's the Quad Father on Father Sunday. How you guys doing today? Hey, hey Dad. Sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, I, I okay, know it's yeah. an amazing gameplay, and, and I love to watch you play, but I got some things I got to talk about. I, I'm here to listen. I want to talk about Twitter and how it's like your little brother. I love Twitter, but I don't really love... No. Hey, that, hey, me. come on now. <laughs> that's, that's my number two son. All right. Um, and animals, wild animals, and uh, animals as pets. And I, I got my t another pop quiz question for today. Alrighty, I, I'm here and I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Well, let's start with talking about your little brother. I like my little. No, well, sometimes. <laughs> no, no. To how Twitter's like your little brother. Basically, I was thinking about it today. You know, on Facebook, if someone insults you or whatever, they got their face. They they have an identity. I know oh yeah, yeah. If someone says something mean to me, I know exactly who it is. I go to school with them. I know where they live. All all this stuff. Right. That well, would make me be able to get revenge on them. But, but not, yeah. but not Twitter. Twitter and YouTube actually are, are two of the social medias where people can just say the crappiest things to you. I mean, mm. you could have an awesome game. You could go 163 to one, and someone will go, "Dude, that you were you were you were in a noob lobby. You were you were using the greatest gun. How'd you die that once? You know exactly. Like it's because it's anonymous. I mean, when you mix like people being mad and having a bad day at school and being able to be anonymous and mm -hmm. uh, constructing other people's stuff. You're going to get a pretty bad mix, and that's hence why we have the YouTube comment section. And maybe that's why people do it, because it's just fun to troll, because they can't do it in real mm -hmm. life. But you know what? I was thinking, the best thing in the world, the best food in the world, the best vacation in the world, the best experience in the world, someone's going to talk trash about it. Oh, oh, big time. J just because they want to be hypocrites and they don't want to go with the flow and all this, 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 just this random stuff where people just want to be, you know, quote unquote different. And it's just, it's just dumb in my opinion. Well, and that's why I think it's like your little brother. Well, I, I'm, dumb? I was, no, I yeah. still am a little brother. I'm just a little bit older now. Mm -hmm. And, um, I used to do anything I could to get any type of reaction out of my sister. And if I got a reaction of, of laughter, it was great. If I got a reaction where she wanted to chase me through the house and punch me, that right. was great too. <laughs> so I think, I think that's what happens on Twitter and on YouTube. People are just trying to get a reaction. Mom too. Uh, you just like to tease her just to get a reaction? Sometimes. I mean, not all the time, but I mean, mom's going to watch back on this video and be like, oh yeah, yeah, he does that. <laughs> well, you know, there's some advantages because I think you've learned not to take people's opinions very seriously oh my gosh ever since i started youtube and all everybody getting up in social media instagram facebook twitter all these different things it's be it's become where i really i only matter. it's, it's got to be like if you said something like hey kale that, that video you posted today that wasn't really good i'd be like oh wow okay i gotta step up my game or something but when it's somebody else like i have to respect you i have to completely respect you for your opinion to matter to me at all if right. i don't respect you if i don't know you and you're just like wow man your video sucks this is trash blah 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 blah. keyboard warrior it's yeah. like buy block it's yeah it doesn't it doesn't really even matter because because yeah. you know what but there's also sometimes where you look at somebody's comment and you say is that true well you know what some of that's true yeah it actually takes some of it into consideration to be honest yeah you don't just blow them out just because they're being jerks because they may have some some bit of truth and you can you can get better from it that's all i'm trying to do here that's why the comment section is there is people say oh yeah you messed up on this little part or you could be a little bit more enthusiastic or this gameplay or, it could have been a little bit better just little tips like that yeah or do a do a, a series where you have your dad in every episode i, I I like those comments the best. Oh, well, th that we already have that. Well, uh, maybe we can get at least one of those. That would, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Speaking of trolling, you troll your mom sometimes by, like, bringing in a, uh, a lizard or, you know, just telling yeah. her there's a spider on her shoulder or something just, like that. Just little things like that. Did you see the video uh, that just went viral that Kevin Rose uh, protecting his dog? I, I did not. Well, what happened was, and you guys can look it up. I think it had like 7 million views in the past week and a half a or something like that. a lot of million views. It's a security camera of his house. He's got a, a, I think it's a poodle, and he let it out to go to the bathroom like at 1 o'clock at night uh, before they went to bed. And all of a sudden, he heard the poodle just scrambling and, and it barking and, and whining. And he's like, oh, man, what happened? So the video shows him running down the stairs, seeing his his dog and it's encountered a raccoon and the raccoon is laying into this little thing <laughs> so he jams down the stairs grabs the raccoon by the back of its neck and hurls it down a whole flight of stairs like literally uh, just that, tossed it like a frisbee think of yeah yeah well okay the, uh, for those who care about a raccoon which by the way to me a raccoon is just a pest it's a pest like mm -hmm. any other animal 
But he, he threw it down the stairs. It landed. It ran off into the bushes with its two friends. He said there were two more out there. And, they're and hanging they, up on us now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. They're, they're making parties, and they got alliances. Exactly. You know, it's this, awful. You're going a freaking raccoon clan. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's already a raccoon clan. <laughs> but anyway, so um, he actually protected his dog. There was a dog in his neighborhood earlier that week who encountered a raccoon and got his eye chewed out. Oh. So people are giving him a hard time about being mean to wild animals or whatever. Oh, but. dude, just hop off his back, man. He protected his dog. Exactly. Don't act like you would have done something similar, to be honest. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I As much of a wimp as I am, I don't know that I would have picked up a raccoon. If he gets a hold of your face, man, you're I, gone. I, yeah, I haven't I, even, well, since I haven't seen the video, I mean, I, I imagine throwing a raccoon completely down a flight of stairs. Just picking it up would be the, scary. Like you said, the raccoon survived or? Oh yeah, it was totally fine, it ran off. Oh, okay, wow. It's kind of like a cat, you know? Yeah, raccoons, yeah, well think about your cat. I, if my cat really wanted to get away when I was holding it, it could get me. Mm -hmm, yeah. That's why I don't exactly. understand why people have wild pets as animals, or pe wild animals as pets. Yeah, exactly, like you hear that lady with the monkey or whatever, the oh. chimpanzee or whatever it yeah, was. Yeah, her name was Charla Nash. Yeah, she just got, she literally got gnashed out. Oh yeah, <laughs> she, had a, she had a chimpanzee as a pet. She's the first lady to ever have a double hand replacement and a face transplant. Oh my gosh. The, the chimp just took her to town. Face transplant? Like, what are you doing? Face transplant. It, uh, what it are you ate doing off in your life? face. What are you doing in your life where you have to get a freaking face transplant? Well, the chimp was cute. Oh, now I understand. No, yeah. wrong. No, no, no. People people want to, want to. I don't even understand, understand why we have these crazy animals. Let's bears. Bears, all they are is eating machines. They can wipe us out at any time. I would yeah, not exactly. go up against a bear. Like a polar bear. They're huge. Well, never a polar bear, but what are they, nine feet tall? That's yeah, nutty. Exactly. But, the, but people have had pythons as pets. One python got out, ended up in the toddler's crib, wrapped around the toddler. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That, that's just weird to think of. And, and I, don't, I don't blame the pets. I don't. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the moron who thinks, oh, yes, having a boa constrictor with a toddler in my house is a good idea. Yeah, logic. Exactly. Just think about it. Come that's on. just stupid. You know, because animals are smart. I don't think we should lock any of them up. I don't. Th I don't even understand why we actually have pets. I mean, you can. I. I hear. Oh, I house train my. Um, I house train my lion. All these different things. I Rats. have a. This, this is a different type of raccoon. This is a thing that I like to keep in my house. This is a house raccoon. This is a house yeah. bear. Well, some <laughs> dogs are like that too. There's some yeah. dogs. You know, you can't tell when they're going to turn on you. Exactly. But I mean, and some people think when they're like a burglar outside of their house that their nice dog is going to turn mean. Probably not going to happen. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't care what you say about your brother. We're still going to keep him. <laughs> He's not too dangerous. Oh, dang it! That that doesn't sound like too much. Well, yeah. Okay, whatever. It's good. I like my brother, and I have a little brother. But I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. This is again a really cool and fast-paced S12 shotgun gameplay. Hopefully, you guys also enjoyed this crazy commentary. If you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like down below, that really does help me out. Let's shoot for 175 likes. I think we could hit that mark. It's been Quadum FT. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and I know you guys have Instagram. All links in the description below. See if I don't get eaten by a chimp or by your little brother. <laughs>